One by one, we're featuring the regional winners of the Environmental Stewardship Awards. And now, let's head to Region 3 and meet the winning family from Minnesota. Stony Creek Farm in South Central Minnesota is owned and operated by Grant and Dawn Breitkreitz. Their third generation ranch is a rare sight in the land of 10,000 lakes, a forage based operation deep in the heart of row crop country. We run primarily a commercial red Angus herd with a little, little Angus in there too. Uh, we run between 120 and 150 stock cows. Uh, we run a, a spring and a fall calving herd. Grant and I run the farm along with our daughter Carly and we have various other family members that help us out along the way. Grant and Dawn have implemented a rotational grazing program to increase their grass production. They started by splitting just one pasture in half to see how the cattle and grass would perform. This first trial was a success and they were soon working with NRCS to subdivide all their grazing land. We saw what was happening out here and how the grass was performing and how things were getting better and better. And so we started splitting it down even further. And that's when we started working with the NRCS office and, and working into more, more rotational grazing. And we started attending educational classes and you know, seeking out other people that have been doing this for a lo lot longer time than, than we have. So we're growing grass on our hills where we never used to grow grass more than three to four inches tall. We're growing grass that'll be waist high in June. When I started with cattle with my parents, there were pastures that it looked like a lawn and it was a very patchy lawn. You could see dirt everywhere. And since we started doing this, we can see a huge difference. The ground is so much richer and the grass is so much fuller. It's covering the ground. We don't see patches of dirt anymore. Over the years, the Breitkreitzes have continued to make improvements to their pastures. Fourteen watering facilities have been added to support the rotational grazing plan and ensure the cattle have good, clean water at all times. These changes have also had a positive impact on the naturally occurring water sources around the operation. There's less runoff to the adjoining Minnesota River, and the streams on the property are cleaner and in better shape. When we started with the first rotational grazing system out here, we had severe riparian damage to our creek banks, our stream banks. We noticed immediately that they started to heal, and then when we got the water tanks installed farther away and gave our grass plenty of time to rest, our riparian areas are all healed, all covered with grass, just like the main part of the pasture. We see very few, if any, areas where it's bare dirt, the grass has grown back up, and Nine times out of 10 when I go to the pasture creek, it's running clear and that makes us happy. And that makes the cattle happy too. Cattle at Stony Creek Farm also spend time grazing on public land through an agreement with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. This gives Stony Creek additional pasture land while helping the state manage the health of their land. We know how we can manage our land, which is the same as theirs with the cattle, and I'd really like to see them manage their land more with the cattle. Most of the land management in this area done by the DNR is done with fire. We've made it very clear that our cows don't care if it's windy or raining, they're still out there managing that land. If Grant and Don weren't able, weren't here to work with us on doing this, it'd make our job, you know, if not impossible, certainly a lot more expensive. If Everybody in my work area farm, like Grant and Dawn, our water quality and wildlife problems would probably be done real quick. The Breitkreitzes admit they stumbled onto one of their practices almost by accident. They began planting cover crops as a means of creating additional forage, but quickly realized the all-around benefits. We didn't really know what cover crops were. We were just using them to produce more feed for the cattle, and all of a sudden, the light bulbs started coming on. We were seeing less problems in the fields with weeds and insects, and uh, so we just won't go without planting a cover crop now. Last year we did a cover crop that I think had 15 different species in there, and we ran our cows out there, and they loved it. It was 
the most weight gain I've seen on cows in such a short period of time, and they kept it on all winter. And our cows just loved it. They'd go out there just happy as could be, and they'd come back in just happy as could be. The gates at Stony Creek Farm are always open to people that want to learn more about stewardship, including other cattle producers who are looking to improve their conservation practices. The Brightkreitz family knows their efforts will ensure Stony Creek Farm is around for generations to come. Hopefully by doing what we're doing with the stewardship here, there will be something here for Carly if she wants or, or other generations coming along just because we've maintained the integrity of the soil, the land, the water. So hopefully the next generation's got a good chance and a good start. Watching my dad learn about this rotational grazing and like the mob grazing and what we can do to better our environment. He is passionate about creating something that's gonna last. And I've become very passionate about creating something that's gonna go on to benefit our next generations. And I think that's extremely important. It's just been incredible all over the farm. This is what God gave us. Let's take the best care of it we can. And that's what we're trying to do.